started with the fiber. We said that the fiber has given performance. We said that uh, this fiber has to be put into a cable to be used. But until these two steps, you're missing the, the final point, which are the connection. So the best fiber cannot be used if you're not able to pump the light inside and to receive the pump, the light on the other end. Or if you have a nice fiber, but uh, every time you need to branch out to terminate whatever, you, you waste dBs and dBs and dBs. So uh, I think, we think as Prismian that uh, the value of being uh, also the, the ones which make the connection may give uh, an overall uh, interesting point. In fact, if you, if you think about, uh, there are probably only two main companies worldwide that are uh, controlling all the process, and one is us. Why? Why this is important? Let me make an analogy. Uh, I think uh, you got experience with, uh, with uh, maybe your daughter, your son, or little kids. You, if you know that uh, at 7 o'clock in the, in the evening uh, you don't give her or give him uh, a dinner, then your evening is going to be a nightmare. You do it. Hmm? I think you, <laughs> you have some idea what I mean. This is a bit less the same. I mean, the fiber is a very good stuff, but uh, there are weak points. Uh, we know if you bend too much, if you compress, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Then if you know which are the weak points of your fiber, you can create something to protect enough, then you can get the best benefit. And this is a bit uh, the, the rationale behind our uh, design. Um, we more or less cover all the items that goes uh, uh, that are installed in a network from the central office for uh, things outside plant. You've seen some today, and also up to the termination. Have you seen some other as well today? Here, I, the last thing I want to do is to to start with a slide like that and read everything why this is good and why this is bad. No, I will just scroll all across the slide to see the family of products and to highlight a, a few a few points. You see here we call metal product, metal connectivity. Actually, this is partially true. As much as possible, we use plastic for what we said before. The fiber uh, is afraid of uh, sharp bendings of a uh, uh, situation where she cannot be uh, uh, installed, uh, keeping a, a decent, uh, let's say, manipulation. And this is why with the plastic you can do every kind of shape. I guess you have a you have appreciated in this few items that you saw here how which is the care of all the plastic part really to to bend to manage the bend and the torsion because this is the other story very often i think when uh, when you when you try to to when you buy a closure in the end you say you, you see the price more or less all the closure are the same because it has splice trays base to bend uh, the fiber ports like that but one of the things that always make, comes to my um, mind when I, when I see some, other, some products is what happened in the hinges? Because every time you have a fiber coming into something which is hinged, it's very important that the fiber stays in the axis so that you put to zero any kind of strange torsion. Very often in many products, especially when you have a double hinge, one inch like that and maybe something which is also opening on the other side, the fiber is, is taking a lot of different uh, um, torsion which are absolutely not good for them. So when I, see, when I say that uh, there is a care of your baby, I mean exactly that. This, is, again, is another product. I, I just want to use it before I mention it OCR during the, the presentation with BT and also to see that uh, we don't play conventional necessarily. This is a product which is for BT. It is, is product just for them. I don't think they will have any other market uh, but BT. But uh, you see, it's a, it's a, it's a sub rack uh, which is a strange uh, face. But uh, we are ready to follow these things. We are ready to follow the customer request. And again, here I think the, the thing which is more uh, original is actually the way you can bend with, with very little bending radius the fibers. About the, 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 the closure, 
we already talked enough, so I think we can really go quick. This is just to say that uh, that was the past, uh, quite conventional. Then we thought that we could do something original and better, and that's the result. Um, on that, uh, I want to use this slide not just to show a product more, but to see again how we can work uh, in a systematic way with the customer. The basic closure is this one, actually. But you see that uh, has been customized for a different application. Again, we are BT, uh, so fiber to the premises. Duck. Fiber to the premises on demand, so when you have splitter, uh, kind of splitter in different part. Again, uh, when you go to new site, you see here, for instance, which is quite unusual, how you, you have a, a color coding so that when you open the pit, you mean immediately know what are you talking about. So there are kind of things which make a bit the difference compared to a generic plastic manufacturer. <coughs> the ducting is another segment of the, um, of the portfolio that we don't produce because uh, it's an expertise we don't have in the group. We tend to put uh, always something inside this tube. Uh, but anyway, this is, some, is a, a product which is ancillary to our cable. We want to push blown cable. We, we think that a small cable is a value. And we want to give to our customer the expertise to say, OK, this cable, if you blow with this duct, you will reach the maximum length. So you can blow two kilometers. If, while if you, if you blow into a duct or some of this other manufacturer, bit, the, the, um, the um, performance will be less. In the past, if you remember, uh, all the blowing systems were sold as system because uh, the compatibility between what you blow and where you blow it uh, is very important. Then in the recent time, it looks like everybody thinks uh, that mix and match uh, is working well. In general, it's working. But when you want to stress a bit uh, your, uh, your plant, uh, mm, uh, a good compatibility is to be taken into account. Another segment which is very important and where you can find in the market everything uh, from price like that and price like that are the splitters. Again, the splitters are produced as a chip, as an optical chip by a, a very limited number of manufacturers. But everybody can sell you splitter. Why? Because everybody can buy the chip and mount the arrays of, uh, of fiber inside. Here we want to give to our customer the, the added value that uh, together with the chips that we select from the best manufacturer of chips, uh, we want to put our fibers inside. So we work with people like uh, also well known in the market like Senko, but just to name one, where in the end they can use on our request, uh, on our specification, our fiber together with that. Uh, Last but not least uh, is all the, the world of pre-connectorization. And this is something that for many years we have probably neglected, and that was a mistake. We always thought that uh, this part of the network was cheap stuff uh, that you can buy wherever, and then uh, who cares? With uh, the pre-connectorization trend, uh, we think that this is becoming more and more important. Actually, it's vital because, in fact, as I said, it's the way you May you enable your cable to be used. So uh, while here we still outsource a lot of this uh, product because we partner with people like the one I mentioned before, we also establish a facility. So inside the Prismium Group, for the first time, we have also a termination house. It's a bit far from here because it's in North Africa, but uh, at least uh, can give us uh, um, really the ability to, to evaluate what is coming uh, from, from the free market. And in this picture is what you saw this morning from the pizza box, the other kind of things as well, uh, the, quick, the, the quick draw. And uh, all uh, uh, the family of uh, cables, which I think I have it here, which is uh, the one uh, in this picture, the one for Verticasa, where this kind of uh, service or product has been pretty much appreciated uh, by, by at least the European customer. Because if you remember in the, um, in the movie this morning, no, it was already afternoon for Verticada, you remember there were a guy just plugging in from the, from the cable. 
one comment on this is that probably everything pre-connectorized is too expensive. In fact, you saw that, uh, if you remember in the movie, there were one bundle pre-connectorized. And the other three bundles were just, uh, uh, how do you say, broken out, but without the connectors. So it's a sort of a solution in between. You limit the, the activity in the field, but in the same time, you, you scale a bit investment. To explain a bit better, this story is that in this cable, which is the one on the table, every single module has four colors, because you remember we said four different operators. So when you are here, and if you don't have it prepared, this is an, an operation to be done in, in the basement, you should go here to have 36 modules, 36 red fiber, 36 green fiber. You already understand that. Uh, First of all, it takes a lot of hours in the field. And second, the, the, the possibility of mistakes is quite large. So the fact that you can make it in, in, in a plant and separate all the colors, which means operator one, two, three, and four, and some of them pre-connectorized or not, which give you the, the quality and, and the, the reduction of the time.